So today we're going to continue working with variables and equations. So an equation, the first thing we need to do is really understand what an equation is. An equation is like a mathematical sentence, um, but it has to have an equal sign. That's what makes it a complete sentence, a complete thought. Now, if we didn't have an equal sign, then we call those expressions. So eight plus two, is an expression until you say that it equals 10 and then it becomes an equation. So um, really what you have is um, there's different types of equations. So the first one is like the example I just gave. Nine plus two is equal to 11. Nine plus two by itself is a numerical expression. 11 by itself is a numerical expression. When you put that equal sign in between, it becomes an equation, nine plus two equals 11. Now it can be either true or false. In this case, it is true because nine plus two truly is 11. Now, if it said nine plus two is equal to 12, it could be an equation, but it would be false because it wasn't true. We can also have variable e equations and that happens when you have a variable involved. So um, in this case, X plus seven is an expression. That's called a variable expression or an algebraic expression because it contains a variable. 37 is a numerical expression. When we put them together, this becomes a variable equation or an algebraic equation. We call this an open sentence, open sentence. And that is any equation that contains a variable is called an open sentence. Now, again, uh, in this case, in an equation, a variable is going to have a specific value and we'll get to how to get to that specific value. But right now we're just examining the types of equations that there are. And then there's the type of equation where you can have a variable expression equal to another variable expression. And we again call this an open sentence because it contains variables. So let's um, identify these equations by their type, okay? So the choices are, it's either an open equation, an open sentence because it contains a variable, it's a true equation, or it is a false equation, okay? So six plus two equals 18. That is a true equation, right? It contains numerical expressions that are put equal to each other and they truly do have the same value. Six plus, uh, is equal to four plus three is an equation because it has an equal sign, but it's false because it's not true. Six doesn't equal four plus three. Six Y is equal to negative three plus five Y would be considered an open sentence because it has a variable in it. Nine minus seven equals three. While it's an equation, it is a false equation because uh, nine minus seven is equal to two. 8 plus x equals 2 would be considered an open sentence because it has a variable. 4 times 5 equals 20 is equal to a, um, uh, is 4 times 5 is 20, so it would be considered a true equation. So what we wanna do now is examine words and um, take those words and put them into equation form and then to tell whether or not it's true, false, or an open sentence, okay? So if you look at the words, it says nine times the opposite of five is 45. Okay, so we're gonna write an equation to match those words. So nine times, and if you remember, we don't wanna use an X for multiplication anymore. Nine times the opposite of five, which is negative five, is, that word is, is another way of saying equal 45. So those, that equation matches those words, but how, however, it is false because nine times negative five would be negative 45. So although it's an equation, it is not a true equation. So let's try this one. 20 minus x is 3. 20 minus x is 3, just like it sounds. Um, what kind of equation is this? We call this a open sentence because it does contain a variable, an unknown. 
Okay, so now when we talk about the solution to an equation, we're talking about a value for the variable that would make the equation true. Solution of an equation, okay? So, um, how do we find a solution for an equation? Well, in this case, in this lesson, you're going to be given a solution and you're going to verify whether or not it truly is a solution. So the way you do that is you substitute that, um, vari that value for the variable to see if the equation is true or false. So let's say the equation was 170 plus X equals 200. Well, um, we know then we have to replace X with a value and let's say uh, we need it to be, um, whatever it is, has to add to 170 to make 200. And so if you said, well, 30 would make sense, then 170 plus 30 would be equal to 200, and that is true. But if you said X was 25, then that would be false. That would not be a solution that would work for that equation. So the way that these are presented in our book is that um, you'll see an equation and then you'll be see a colon or semicolon, I can never remember which is which, behind it with the, what they're saying the solution is. So in this case, the equation is eight plus y equals two y, okay? Then you see the colon and then you see one. So they're asking, is one the solution to this equation? So we would remember that what we wanna do is we wanna replace the variable with whatever the solution is presented. Okay, so eight plus one instead of y is equal to two y's, two times one is two. Is that true? No. So no, one is not a solution to that equation. Okay, this one says nine minus m is equal to three and they wanna know if six is the solution. Well, nine minus six equals three is true. So yes, that would be a solution to that equation. So here are two problems, give them a try, come back and check your work. So what you should have found is that the first um, equation, yes, is a solution to the equation. Uh, negative two plus five does give you positive three. But the second one is not a solution because uh, negative two plus 29 does not give you 24. Okay, so let's look at this as a situation. We have a diver's weight equipment. A diver's equipment weighs 35 pounds. The diver plus the equipment weighs 165 pounds. Can the diver's weight be 200 pounds? So let's think about putting this into an equation and then seeing if the solution makes sense. So a diver's weight Diver's equipment is 35 pounds. So 35 pounds um, plus, we're gonna let D represent the weight of the diver, has to equal 165, right? Because the diver plus the weight of the equipment is 165 pounds. So could D be 200? Well, 135 plus 200 is not 165. So the answer to that question would be no. So here are the problems I'd like you to try in your book. Do it in your notebook and take a picture and upload it to Google Classroom so I can see your work. All right, good luck.